Have you ever wondered what it would be like if we could change gravity? Well, what's so awesome about Fortnite is that we can actually change gravity and we can even measure it inside the game. Right now, gravity influences like everything about how things move, right? It influences how fast things can fall, how, how far things can fly through the air, how high things can jump. Gravity, that one value, we call it the acceleration due to gravity, or G, it influences all of those things. So it's a really big decision for a game designer when they have to choose a single value of G. Now, on the Earth, G is 9.8 meters per second squared. And you can actually calculate that just from the radius of the Earth and, and the mass of the Earth, because that value of G is, is how much gravity we feel right here on the surface of the Earth. But any planet or moon can have a different value of G. But in a virtual world, we can choose basically any value for G that we want. But we have to weigh lots of different factors, like, like you know, how high do I want a player to be able to jump? How long do I want them to be in the air? How far should a car go when it goes off of a ramp? That one value of G influences all of those things. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure G inside Fortnite, and we are going to try to understand why the designers of Fortnite chose that value of G. Now, in a traditional lab, the way we would measure G is basically just by dropping a ball. All right, you take a ball, you'd put it up here, and you'd use kind of like a, a photo gate, right? That ball would, usually it's tied to like a magnet, and you push a button, and then the ball falls, okay? And that, as that moment, right when it falls, it starts a timer. And when the ball hits a platform below, it stops the timer. And if you know the distance that the ball fell, and you know the time, you can actually calculate the acceleration due to gravity. Now, here's just a little math, but you can actually see how you would do this calculation, okay? Now, physics tells us that the displacement of an object is equal to the initial velocity of the object times time, plus one half times its acceleration times time squared. Now, when you're dropping a ball, right, its initial velocity right there is zero. So we get to cross off a whole term of that equation. We're left with just that the distance it falls is equal to one half times its acceleration times time squared. Now, we're trying to solve for that acceleration, that acceleration due to gravity. So we can just rearrange this equation and solve for g. g is going to equal two times the distance it falls divided by time squared. So all we have to do is measure a, a distance and a time, and we can calculate g. So in Fortnite, I've created this drop tower. It's exactly 30.72 meters tall. All right, when you go upstairs and you push the drop button, a trap door opens and a timer starts. And the timer stops right when you hit the ground. Now, if you do that several times, you can get an average value for the time it takes you to fall. And since we know the time then and we know the distance, we can calculate G. Now, in a traditional lab, in a classroom, that would be the end of it. You know, you measure G and the experiment's over, right? Because it's the same basically everywhere on the surface of the Earth. But the designers of Fortnite have added a number of gravity modifiers. So, inside the drop tower, I've actually added four additional switches, which control four different gravity modifiers. Uh, low gravity, very low gravity high gravity, and very high gravity. So we can actually measure the acceleration due to gravity in five different uh, gravity fields. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare that to the acceleration due to gravity here on Earth. In the process, we're going to, I hope, understand why the game designers chose the specific value that they did, because there's really good reasons why they chose the value that they did. All right. Everything you need to complete the lab is linked here in the video description, right? You got a link to the instruction sheet. That includes a like a data collection sheet, like a spreadsheet where you can organize your data and it performs the calculations. If you have access to Fortnite, then I give you the island codes. You can go into the drop tower and collect this data yourself. But if you don't have access to Fortnite, that's okay, because I've also given you a data collection video. That's where I've gone through this whole experiment and, and, and recorded a screencast. So you can use that video to collect the data and complete the lab. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I really look forward to seeing what you discover. And remember, virtual worlds make awesome laboratories.